Allowance 101. Financial companies like Fannie Mae, banks, and other financial services companies with exposure to loan defaults must set aside an allowance for anticipated losses. This allowance is meant to be used to cover losses that are anticipated in the future but have not yet occurred. When we think about how much allowance to hold, we can use the analogy of water stored in a tank. As the company anticipates new losses, it puts water into the storage tank. The allowance that fills the tank is made up of these anticipated losses. The goal is to have sufficient water to cover anticipated losses. As those losses actually occur, for example, a borrower defaults and the home is foreclosed upon, water drains from the bottom of the tank to cover these losses. As the company's expectations for the future performance of those loans changes, it might need to add water to the tank or remove water from the tank to cover the revised amount of anticipated losses. Changes in the level of the allowance have an impact on earnings or net income for the company in each reporting period. The impact on earnings is determined by the amount of the change in the flows of water into and out of the tank. Water flowing into the tank will reduce the company's profits, and water coming out of the top of the tank will increase the company's profits. We can illustrate this by comparing Fannie Mae's allowance inflows and outflows and their impact on earnings over time. In the period prior to the housing crisis, or the pre-crisis period, Fannie Mae kept an allowance of under $1 billion, which was enough to offset anticipated loan losses for approximately the next two years. Each quarter, Fannie Mae would put water into the tank to reserve for new anticipated loan losses, and water would drain out of the tank due to actual loan losses that occurred. The company's earnings were negatively impacted by the amount of new water going into the tank every quarter. During the pre-crisis period, the macroeconomy and credit risk environment were stable. As a result, during this period, relatively small amounts of water flowed into the tank to cover anticipated loan losses. At the same time, a relatively small amount of water drained out of the tank, reflecting actual loan losses that occurred. For example, losses due to foreclosures. As the housing crisis hit, Fannie Mae needed to reserve for higher anticipated losses. The company needed to put more water into the tank. Because of changes in the foreclosure environment and loan modification programs, it took longer for actual losses to occur on any given loan compared to before the crisis. Therefore, much more water was flowing into the tank than flowing out, so the allowance was growing. This resulted in very high expenses and negative earnings for several years, even though the bulk of the actual loan losses would not occur for years to come. During the crisis, the company's observed loan performance deteriorated rapidly. Macroeconomic factors, such as home prices, also worsened, increasing credit risk. Billions of dollars flowed into the allowance each quarter, and the level of the water in the tank rose to more than $70 billion. Although water drained out at a much higher rate than the pre-crisis rate, it did so at a much slower rate than the water coming into the tank. Fewer loans have worsened recently, resulting in the need for less inflow. And actual losses continue to occur, so water flows out from the bottom of the tank. In the first half of 2012, the credit risk environment improved. As economic factors change, the company will revise its anticipated loss estimates. If home prices improve, loan performance also should improve, and loans that default will generate lower losses. So, less water would flow into the tank for new anticipated losses, and water could be removed from the top of the tank due to lower loss estimates on the rest of the book of business. This could result in a reduced loss allowance, and the company's earnings would be positively impacted by the removal of water from the top of the tank. Today, Fannie Mae's new book of business, Loans Purchased or Guaranteed Since the Beginning of 2009, has better credit quality overall and is now more than 50% of the company's total single-family guaranteed book of business. 
On this book, the company expects future losses to be more in line with pre-crisis levels, assuming that macroeconomic conditions do not worsen. Fannie Mae's expectations about future performance will evolve as market conditions change and the company learns more about how loans will perform through time in this economy. Key drivers on anticipated loan performance and the allowance include actual and forecasted home prices, borrower payment history, actual and forecasted interest rates, loan modification activity, and accounting policy, among others. The company still expects foreclosures to continue at least at the current rate for the foreseeable future. Fannie Mae expects the level of the allowance to remain well above pre-crisis levels for years to come because it is taking so long for actual losses to occur.